Hello again. I made this short video yesterday showing you what's in my bag. I had placed everything on a grey card and I was bending over the card, making the video with my OnePlus 10G Pro and you saw my video was uh, shaky, but that's okay, that's part of life. I have placed my mobile phone now on uh, a tripod, a Cinco P tripod with a little LED light which is why I'm uh, squinting and once again let me show you what I took in my bag. The first thing is I wear these glasses. These glasses are uh, critical because they are photochromatic and when I'm out in the in the uh, heat and the dust and the bright light of the Delhi street they help to protect my eyes so that's something which you might not consider but think about it a cap you need a cap if you don't wear a cap you're gonna get sunburn and a heat stroke my wife has been telling me to use uh, sunblock which I have not been doing so far but there are these new water-based sunblocks so I might look at those not the old ones the old ones like banana boat made me feel you know almost as if I was being suffocated so here's my camera this is my Fujifilm X100V, X105 and it's a fixed 23mm focal length camera with an f2.0 uh, f-stop rating and that's uh, fantastic about the only drawback with the camera is that you can't put a UV filter on top unless you get a little attachment and that's not been available but this works perfectly it's small it's compact you can either use the LED screen at the back or you can use a little viewfinder here the menu system is fantastic and what I like is the kind of retro dials in the top so it's easy to change the settings whenever you want to so this is my go-to camera when I'm on the street it's unobtrusive it's light and it takes absolutely brilliant uh, photographs this year I had I had decided that this year I would start shooting a bit of video so I started with my mobile phone and I still use the mobile phone once in a while when I do, I have this little Synco P uh, receiver and uh, kit. So you see, well, you might not be able to see here, but you charge it, charge the box, and everything inside gets charged. You open the box, and there it is. This little piece goes into the phone. It's the receiver, as you might see, and the transmitter, and you clip this to your shirt it originally comes with two of these clips but i lost one so i'm stuck with just one then there's the external battery pack very useful because if your phone or the camera runs out of power it's easy then to charge it while you're on the field finally my gopro i this is the hero black 11 and honestly i wonder what i was doing without this all these years and uh, it is fantastic i use it only for video you can use it for to take photographs you can use it uh, for time lapse but i use it for videos and it's fantastic i have got the media mod around it and the media mod which is a little unit which clips around the uh, uh, the original gopro Ah, it's not coming off. That is. There we go. So you kind of take it out. Yeah. So this is the GoPro without the media mod. Uh, I have taken the casing out, but there's a little cover which covers the battery. But otherwise, when you're using the media mod, you remove it, push it in, close the cover. And that's it now the advantage of the media mod is well, there are two advantages advantage you can see me struggling out here but uh, I'll just put it back the two advantages are one is this little receiver here which helps you improve the audio 
And the second is you can attach something like this, which is the Rode microphone and you just attach it to the top and then you keep walking and recording. The moment you do, do so, of course, you become fairly conspicuous and everyone looks at you and say, ah, YouTuber, 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 are you a YouTuber? And then you say, yes, I'm a YouTuber. And then they want to know if you're associated with any media. And I say, no, I'm not associated with any media because they've all been sold. They sold their souls for money, but I said I prefer to work independently. And then we have this little stand, stick, which is fantastic. At some point, I'm going to buy the tripod. Uh, a, it, the GoPro has a fantastic little tripod, which I'm going to buy at some point. Because the advantage of the tripod is you can use it as a stick to hold the GoPro, as well as you can charge the GoPro along. And thirdly, of course, you use it as a tripod. So that's my Go to equipment and I will show you my bank. It's a large bank for street photography, but this is what it is. That's my lower pro bag. I will have all the descriptions in the links below. I like the bag because it's light. It's like a little sack or as we call it in India, a jhola. That everything fits inside perfectly. It doesn't add any strain actually. Uh, to my back which is fantastic because in the past I used to use fairly heavy cameras with heavy bags and I thought it was nice and glamorous to use stuff that was heavy so I don't believe that you should use stuff that is too heavy it sounds very good especially when you're younger as you can see my hair is slowly graying but keep your equipment light you can walk longer because you do need to walk a lot when you're doing street photography. You're not sitting there on a rock. You're not just hanging around, you're walking. And you're walking in the heat, the dust, the noise. And you also have to deal with people's stares. It's also good to be able to chat with people as much as you can. It puts them at ease. Because when you put people at ease, they are more willing to have you photograph. Plus, you make a human connection. For me, street photography is about human connection. It's about human stories. But that is another video. See you and I hope you enjoyed this short little video.